Alright guys, another day at Black Acre Ranch. So today is misty um, and misty. So it's been raining earlier in the day before we got here and it's supposed to be raining here in a couple hours. So we have a limited crew just because of the moisture, but we've been busy today actually. So we got ourselves a new little friend again. Uh, this one is a dumpster, all right? This one's a little bit bigger than his last brother that we had, but it's 40 yard dumpster. And uh, we're gonna be putting all the junk from inside that 1200 square foot home into it. And then um, probably the garage that it's sitting next to that is parked right in front of us. So that's what's going in our little dumpster friend. Today we also went over and got the remaining portion of our wood posts. The wood posts are five inch diameter, 10 foot long, pressure treated. We picked up the last 36 of those, so now we have 100 again. And soon, once we get everything over in that facility done, kind of cleared out, we're gonna start doing a bunch of posts. And uh, we needed a bunch. So I estimate we'll need a whole nother 100, but um, for now, we're just gonna do the first 100. So that's where we've been so far. And today, you're kind of like, hey, what's going on now? Um, I'm gonna try and get some work done. So I've got Talmadge, who just stared at me. Um, Owen and my parents here, but we're gonna try and get some of these gutters put up. Um, we got a couple more, well, a couple hundred more gallons in. Um, just over last night, we had a little bit of rain. Um, more is scheduled for tomorrow, and we're trying to just nip this in the butt real quick and get as much as we can. Um, from this roof because we've only got as you guys have noticed from the last time only this is a 6,000 square foot pavilion we only have one half of the roof actually connected so 3,000 square feet of space connected to the tanks um, we have probably 4,400 gallons somewhere so we got 400 extra gallons last night but it's time to get this other half done and try and capture some of this rain a little bit better so I'm not gonna go out in the mud and do some wood so today, let's see if we can get some pipes. You know, be 20 feet off the ground in wet shoes on ladders. So anyway, let's go. I did find out that each of these posts is 70 pounds. So if you remember the last time when we had uh, the big bundle and we're trying to get it off the trailer, um, we had 32 that are wrapped. So that came out, I think, to 2,450 pounds on the front end loader. But I had no rear ballast besides the tires being filled and the front tires were squishy they need to be pumped up. So I couldn't lift it. We ended up doing all these by hand. Um, so next time we're gonna do this, but 70 pounds of pop, about just shy of 2,500 as a bundle. So we've got to come up with a better way to do all that. On our pavilion, we've got three downspouts on the one side. Um, last time, if you'll remember, we went ahead and tried to do a run just right along the top of the gutter and actually come down every half inch, every 10 feet. Um, we were running out of room at that point. Um, so what we're going to try and do is this side is totally full of concrete. Um, we don't have room to dig it out. The only other option would be either to um, come all the way down into the ground and cut out the concrete, which I'm just not going to do. Um, or we come down part way along the skirt, still have a wet system and so forth. So I don't like that idea. What we're going to try now is a dry system and our approach is going to be we're going to take an elbow. Hey Owen, throw me an elbow. When we go up to the gutters up the top, you'll see a, a gutter. Gosh, it's all the way back here. But anyway, there's a gutter right over this guy. You see a gutters right here. Before when we had these things, what we did was we had another little cap on top and then we fit the gutter into that cap. What I'm gonna do now is because this is big enough and it's a big enough opening, I'm just gonna slide this all the way to the bottom of the gutter around the actual drop down uh, downspout. Um, that'll give us a little bit extra room up. And then instead of doing one half inch every 10 feet, I'm gonna see if we can get away with a quarter inch every 10 feet. We have from this point all the way to the very end, we have 80 feet. That means we're gonna be dropping eight, four, two inches. That should be enough. I mean, we already have this, but we have, I think about 13 inches to play with 
if we drop two inches and then whatever this is six that means we're at eight we have five extra we're gonna see how well that does when we're up there we got to keep it a fairly consistent slope so what I want to do is we're gonna go back to using these metal straps I tried to get some unistrut and Home Depot is not my favorite company right now and before when we had done it we had just gotten random lengths of strap put it up top and drilled and we couldn't keep a consistent slope and that was the frustration with a lot of it um, so what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna put the first one up and see where it lands um, in relation to the gutter and then we're gonna use a consistent length here so I want to measure from the bottom here up and make a mark and what we're gonna do is that's gonna be the mark where we strap and screw these guys together and we're gonna maintain a consistent count of circles all the way up through this guy so we know the strap is equally sized amongst all of it I hope this is making sense so this mark that we go up here that's going to be the first spot we drill into with uniform sized bracket and then that's going to drop every 10 feet a quarter inch so that's our plan um, keep these uniform which we didn't last time we're starting up higher which we didn't start last time didn't do last time and we're going to see if we can do this over here on the back side this is where the tanks are and we're gonna have to span all the way across here to go all the way over to the tank the width of the building is 60 feet so if we have 80 feet and then we go another 60 that would technically be another quarter inch another inch and a half so total drop should be less than four inches that should be within our span that we're allowed to do in the future our goal is to take these two tanks that are sitting next over here and add four more so four more in this spot right here or two more here sorry and two more here when we do that what we'll do is we'll just adjust the piping going all the way across and probably have the corner just wrap around have a quick little first flush and then drop into that tank at that end so then we'll just be feeding the end tanks and everything in between will be I guess just collection just storage but that's the overall goal but right now let's get cracking on that other stuff and see if we can make any headway with it before it starts pouring down rain a little bit later on I'm not sure how far we're gonna get or frankly how successful this is in practice theory sounds great but let's see what happens in practice You get that open? Oh, well, let me just do it. I'm looking at you. <laughs> Go to my hand. That's why they call them slip joint. We need a bigger set of pliers. These are the same thing. I've actually crumpled the can trying to pull it off. <laughs> Gosh, that's a lot. Guys, come on. Ah, it's red. <laughs> that was terrible. That's <laughs> <laughs> just scratchy. Oh, it's red. I need this side. You need to give your dad that one. You need to give me the other one. There you go. Go ahead spread it your way. You sure you want to be the guy up here, Dad? Yeah. He loves heights. I don't. More than me, I'll tell you that. He hates heights. <laughs> don't tell him that. 
You sure? I'm fine. I'm Just fine. don't look down. That's the whole point of being up there. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't move it. Can you flip it over? Can you turn it upside down? Smash it. Because I don't think... If it breaks, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's not like we're going to be using it anyways. Remember, we haven't done our will yet. I know. The what? Okay. The will? Elf. <laughs> well, for my signature, you just scribble a lot, and then I'm good. Yeah, that might be. Hey. Talmish, come over here and tell us what, what's going on. Give me the side for getting drenched. My crotch is wet. I got sprayed on the ladder. So, we've gotten the uh, water to get through the pipes this far, right? And luckily for us, it's actually working. So, <laughs> uh, we just filled up our first five gallon bucket and dumped it. The thing is, we've timed it and it's at about three and a half minutes, four minutes for five gallons. So three to four minutes, three by five, sorry, three, 60 by three, 20 times five. Between 70 and 100 gallons an hour. I don't know if your math is right, but I guess it's I'm right. Gonna... I just drenched myself, though. So. All right, so we've, we've got, let me see if I can get some of this. We've got, you see the tube? I don't, okay. Let's see if I can try it the other side. Let's see if I can get the other side now. The tube? I don't, I can't see it. All right, it's through there. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a lot of rain coming down in these pipes. I think we've got, how many joints? Four? Yeah, we've got four joints. We're on our fifth one. We're about ready to go up to the second gutter, but the rain's been coming down and it's just filling the bucket. So it gets hard to glue these things when they're all wet, but we're gonna see if we can keep going. This is a bugger to film and try and get this down. We've got kind of a process going. It's starting to go quick. It's just now starting to rain. Um, so there's not a lot of action shots. Otherwise it'd be boring as all get out, but we're just trying to get this up and I'll see if I can show you guys a little bit about progress where we're at right now. So this is where we're at right now. I've got a hat over the camera, but it's fairly, it's pretty cool. It's not bad. It's, it's coming across, we're moving pretty quick. I bet you if we had another two hours where we could just focus on this, we could probably crank it all out. Um, it's just more difficult to do this in the rain. So, um, safety first, right? That's me. Yeah. <laughs> right, whatever. So we're gonna see if we can do it in the rain. My dad's pushing me, he's 70, I can't wuss out now. Hey guys, so we have gotten all the way down. We've connected all three downspouts. It's getting dark. We want to keep going, but it's just going to get like dark super fast. Let me show you some of the progress that we've got going on. So Tom was just put a little cap piece on the end. We just haven't done the whole end, but it gets it a little bit further out. So it will actually be dripping down here on this little concrete slab before it goes to the dirt. It's kind of angled. So it is not going to be in the hay like it was before. It was. It was coming down right here at this post, all that water, so we knew we just had to finish going across. Our method is actually working pretty good. You can see it's fairly straight. There's a little imperfections here and there, but it's actually really good. The trick is just remembering 
your measurement. Like I said, it's getting dark. Um, and with all the mist and cloud cover, it's just gonna get dark even faster. Okay guys, we're gonna come back next, tomorrow actually. Tomorrow, I think, and we're gonna take this here and wrap it around the corner and go down and see how far we get. Next morning it is. Okay, you'll know yesterday, of course, we didn't finish everything. And we got to this corner over here. Now, today's plan is to finish up this rainwater collection system um, and get everything over to these tanks over here, um, mainly that tank. What we already have done this morning is measured from the top of the tank here um, and tried to get a height up to this other set of pipes. We're wondering if we have enough room to continue our quarter inch slope all the way down. And so we're trying to get an idea of how to get a gauge of where we're at. So what we ended up having to do was come down and measure from the concrete. And we figure this is a good gauge um, as a system and it looks like this guy is 146 and 7 8 off the concrete floor. When we measured the other side off the concrete floor we came out with like 150 something like that. So we have about a little over three inches of play to go from here to get over to the tank. We're going to continue on going with the current route and get around that corner here and continue on. We completed this corner and uh, it's not pretty. For some reason our measurement, we were supposed to get around the light pole. This is the electrical conduit or pole holding the light. That guy. And our measurement really was off. And you can see right here we had to throw in a coupling because we were too short, now we're too long and we couldn't get it in all the way because we were too far out. The order and process of gluing this corner was kind of awkward. So, it is what it is. It kind of went in, I think, about a half inch, my dad said. It could have gone in an inch and a seven eighths, but uh, half inch will do. So we got a pretty good gap right over here. But, as long as it's functional, we should be fine. The other thing we noticed, all of our measurements are taken from the bottom edge this whole way. And we notice that, oops, when we got to the corner here, um, it dropped down 5 eighths, which means we need to extend all of our measurements another 5 eighths. So, you know, dumb us, never caught that beforehand. So we had to redo this guy, redo the strap on that guy, but hey, we're doing good. Right now, I just want to show you a little hand demonstration of kind of what we're doing um, when we're up there. The basic setup is we're putting up the pipe, putting the strap, the strap kind of creating a, a cradle for it at a set height. Um, each of these is our metal straps. And these large holes, one, two, three, there are 22. We cut them so that there's 22 holes across its length. When I get them, I go ahead and I know I only need 20 holes. That leaves me one extra hole at the top. So I mark my hole that I want at 20 and I know I have one extra hole up top. I will then put the screw in it and that creates the saddle. All right, so we're going up top and we're measuring from the bottom of the skirt up to the top and drilling a hole. I back the hole out, get the pipe up there, put this in, and then re-tighten it back down. Self-tapping metal screw. So far they're holding, and then we double up at each joint, one on each side, so that way it holds everything. Um, so far it's looking pretty good, but I thought I'd just show you kind of that's what we're doing in a nutshell.
Three fifty two, correct? Correct. Each raised panel section is about a foot, or it is a, technically a foot as it goes through. So each thing's 10 feet long. We just count 10 and we know where to put the ladder. Pretty simple. While I was doing all that, my dad's going over prepping the next pipe, putting the coupler on the end and priming everything. And then we just rinse and repeat. Walk up the ladders, glue it, put it in, Put the bracket and we continue on. We're putting all the scraps and stuff into sweats. Okay. And then they pull it out to take it to the dumpster. And this is minor to what when we started. This was completely full. This is the patio with, from the back porch thing and if you notice on the ground there's what looks like manure and around to the side there's a cow that been has been living in this apparently and so Clark had to get a big shovel and sweep it all up he was real thrilled have a lot to do. We aren't nearly done. This room, the sunroom that overlooks that area, this used to be just as full Water. as that. Hi Clark. Hi Daddy, I found a hook. You found a what? A hook. A hook? Oh, where's that snake skin? Oh, I brought over there in the pavilion. Okay, how big was it? Uh, maybe not this big. Okay, interesting. Ooh. Hi, Jasmine. Hey. Hi, Ira. Hi. Hmm. You guys did a lot. Holy cow. The well, back room is done too. The which room? Back here. Back there. Wow. Yep. Okay guys, we're here up top and we're now trying to get to this connection, the last little bit where we extend over and elbow down into the tank. And we are actually low. I think we're pretty low. So we're gonna find out. So we're trying to not do redneck stuff, but we may end up getting there. Here is the pipe. It's gonna go over to somewhere over here, about 48 inches and then it's gonna come over to the top. Now I am level with the pipe, hence why I think we're a little low. So we're gonna see what we have to do here. Now Nathan is close enough, he can probably cut into that. I was gonna try and use a tractor to lift ourselves up and brace myself so I don't squish the top down, right? Although I have lost weight and my wife is excited, um, she doesn't want me squishing the top. So, let's see if we can be dumb and redneck and uh, how this goes. 
Okay, here's the, the pipe, and think of this as inverted, but if we're gonna run along and connect, and this is the wall of the pavilion, it's gonna come this way, and this distance is what we're trying to figure out. Now, on these elbows, like this guy, we're gonna have an elbow at the end, back that direction, and it's gonna drop into the tank. Um, the hole saw that I have is a five inch hole saw, and that's barely enough to fit this. My concern is, is since we're already low, we may have to go all the way to here just to keep some sort of pitch, or at least not a negative pitch to a large extent. If that's the case, this coupling area is larger than the five inch, or barely. And then also we have this area here, which makes it bigger. So, long story short, we need a bigger hole than five inches to try and get the tank to come all the way up to here, and not just here, like it is on the other tank. It smells weird. Just keep pushing it. Slender thoughts. Just in time for it to start raining. Yep. You gotta be kidding me. What are we doing up here, Nathan? You need to turn around. I'm doing it. Yep, little chubby. Fifty-one and a chubby quarter, huh? Yep, chubby quarter. A Chevy quarter, huh? For posterity's sake, Nathan did not think it was such a good idea for us to vote him onto the tractor bucket. Therefore, I have to do this. How do you make a coin? Dad, there's, there's like a weight steps. limit, and I'm not exactly the smallest guy in the world. There is. Okay, I could go up there and hand it to You're not a 150 pounder either, Dad. No, nah, I haven't seen that in about 40 years. Here's a face, here's a face, here's a face. Here's a face. Oh, one's in the back. Okay, wait, Sean. Damn, wish you Suck that. Woohoo! It's coming down pretty good now, actually. Okay, we're gonna try and hurry up and check out where this sucker's at. Throw me an elbow. An elbow? Can you guess where the screw is? It is up. Yeah. It's actually yeah. off. Nope. Getting the dirt off the shoes. Yeah. I do that from the shoes of zero cushioning. What? I'm trying to mark where this will be. I don't know if we can keep doing this, Nathan. I can't get this, Nathan. <laughs> okay, just turn the camera off. We are done. It is not pretty. It's like a botched surgical job. But we got this. We had a cut open that we had a five inch, like I told you, that circular bit. And it doesn't fit this little coupling area. So we had to butcher it. It started raining on us. Um, we didn't play around, we just hacked it out. Again, keep in mind this is an open system. There's mosquitoes that can get into any portion of this. I can come back and fill this in later if I need to, but right now, hopefully you can hear it, it's collecting water. So, it is there. I think there is a little bit of a down. You can see that we're actually not touching right here. We did not glue here or over here because we anticipated that this would have a negative slope coming back 
that this would be kind of a collection point for sediment we wanted to be able to adjust it but either way i think i'm just going to leave it um it's not leaking that much i mean there's like a drip very 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 rarely so anyway wanted to get your picture and that's what we're up to okay rain chances are escalating we're bugging out <clears throat> it's the uh, we got a lot done. We got the rainwater collection system done. Both sides collecting water. Perfect. Can't ask for much more than that. It's been filling up. Um, we're going to actually explore a little bit more parts of the property and then uh, head on home. So, hey, thanks for joining us on Black Acre Ranch. Um, making good progress. We'll keep going from here. Thanks. Bye.